Hey guys, I want to talk to you for a second about the MI6 pen pointer. Now this week, I went out metal detecting on Friday, and within maybe five minutes, the pen pointer went dead, and I knew I had it charged up. I charged it another three hours, tested it before I left, full charge. Next day, Saturday, guess what? After about 10 minutes, dead. Now it's right at three years old, so I'm assuming the battery is pretty much shot. I use it every week, all the time. I use it a lot. So we're gonna replace the battery, and uh, I'm gonna order another one from XP Deus. And when it gets in, I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna take you through step by step how to replace the battery. And for me, it will be my first time. So check it out, here we go. First thing, take the cap off. Set that to the side. Get you a nice little cloth or something to work on. And if you notice right here, there's a little Phillips screw. You have to take this out and this cap is gonna come off. Simple to do. So, I'm gonna try this right now to show you how easy that is to do. You're just gonna remove this little Phillips screw. Bam. Now this cap could pop out or you may have to may have to work it out a little bit. But it just sits in there. Right there. See how it pops out? This old piece if it falls out, and it should, it should stay right here. This is what makes it vibrate. This is the little motor that's gonna spin and you feel the vibration. You can actually get that too if it were to go out. But all you need to do is set this off to the side. This will slide out. You wanna get a pair of little tweezers and grab it right here, but don't reach in so much, you're gonna hit some of the circuitry board just barely grab this and pull this out until you get it where you can pull it out with your fingers. There we go. Look at that. Look at here. Slides right out. And you just have, you can actually buy this case. If you were to. Oh, a little piece of something in there. Huh. I have to check that out and see where that come off. Let's set that right here. If you were to, you know, have a hole in the tip like some guys do. Now I've got this tip protector on here, but you can actually buy this whole case and put a new case in there. So take a look at this. Hey guys, if you're finding some value in this, please consider subscribing to the channel. It means so much to me as we continue to grow. Let's move on. So take a look at this. Right here is the battery. Be very careful. Make sure you get this from XP and don't get some rip off out of China. Uh, this little lithium battery should pop right off. It's got some tape. It comes around here. It's not soldered in and it plugs in right here. You can see the back of the plug. So we're going to try to slide that off. It's got some tape on it, so you may have to get a little razor blade and loosen that. I think I'm gonna do that, and then I'll unplug it, pull it off. Let's pop it out right here. Use my nail, there, it comes right out, see? Pull the wire up through here, right on the edge. And this is what you're getting. So I got a little razor blade. I'm going to just, I don't know if you could see that. Inside there, it's tape. It's like a little double stick tape. And I don't want to mess around with that board. So I'm just going to lightly run that over that tape a couple of times just to get it loose. If it makes you feel any better, this is the first time that I've done this. But I want you to see, there you go. See the tape? 
Now I've got double stick tape I can put back on there. And this is it, guys. This old battery, 35 bucks. And it's gonna go, go right back on here, wrap around here, and plug in here. And that's it. Now, I saw this little piece of plastic right there on my hand. I'm not sure what that's from. I mean, it just it could be from a mold. Don't know. Something. What is that now? Where did it go here? Yeah, see this here? These two little pieces? Looks like this. I think it's set right in this hole. And it just popped out. Huh. It's probably to keep the board lifted up. So I'm going to stick it back in here. Let's see if it fits. Oh, it fits perfect. Yeah, it fits right there. Huh. I may put a little glue on that. But there you go. So, the battery's not here when it comes in. After you get everything out, take the time to scrub this bad boy down. Get all the dirt and grime off of it. Run a brush over all these little holes here. They don't go all the way through, obviously, because it's waterproof, but you want to get the dirt out that builds up. And when you get done, maybe put a little, I know it's going to sound crazy, a little uh, armor all, especially around this. Make sure that gasket is nice and clean. I rinsed out the inside made sure it was all nice and dry. If you've gone this far, might as well go the rest of the way and make sure everything's I cleaned I just up. got home and the battery is here from XP Deus. Can't wait to give it a shot. Hopefully you have followed me through step by step on how to take apart the pinpointer. Now we're going to put the battery in and we'll charge it up and we'll give it a try. Here we go. The new battery came with a little of the self-adhesive stuff on the back, so I'm going to have to take this off. I don't want it too thick. So, if you remember, this old guy here plugs in right here. So that's the first thing you want to do. We want to plug this in. Good gosh, that's small. I think it goes like this and slides in. Yes. All right, it's in. Now, I'm make extra sure you want that little bad boy coming out. It's in there. Now, I remember clipping it through here. Like that. And then it went around and stuck on here like this. So let's stick it on there first. We'll get that wire through that little piece on the back after stick the battery down. So now we're going to place the battery down. I've got the little strip off on the back. Oh, <laughs> it come. Hey, come on. So that's a good sign. You want to orientate yourself so that the button that's on the top, you want the button on the top when you put this in, if you notice inside the pinpointer case, only on the left side, you have this little railing. You have, you've got to slide the unit. Only on the uh, left side, you have this railing. You got to slide the unit in so it goes in between that. And over here, it just rests on top. There's your screw hole. So now we're going to slide this in. You want your button, this is your button, on the top. You're going to slide this in 
And this little railing that I was telling you about, I'm trying to put the light and hold it. We're going to slide it into that. Right there, you can see where it goes inside. Just gently slide it in. You can see right there, it's going to go above that one piece over there. Now, there's the wire. So make sure this wire right here is pushed in that little groove just enough to when you slide it in. There you go. It's going to hold it in place. That's it. So when you put this in, obviously you want to screw a hole in the bottom. You're going to slide this in just like that. If you're off a little bit like I am, just use a little, there you go, just move it. Screw this back in. Okay. Everything looks like it's lined up. Let's put the cap on it and we'll try it. Here we are. First stop, first push. Works like a champ. I can feel it vibrating. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you got some value out of that. I know I sure did. It's my first time doing it. I wanted to share it with you. After almost three years, the battery went dead. As a recap, I bought a new battery, took it apart. Uh, easy to do. You know, I didn't mention this either, but I've talked about it in the past. I bought a, a magnet, glued it in here. A lot of times you're digging a hole and you can't find that small pellet-sized target. You stick this down in the dirt, it's going to get it. Guaranteed, man. See there? It's a little tip. Alright, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It's going to help me out so much as we continue to grow. And I appreciate it very much. As always, I'll see you out there on that next dig.